Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we shall discuss how to evaluate expressions involving absolute value and variables for given values of the variables and how to apply geometric formulas in solving word problems. First of all let us discuss absolute value. Absolute value of a variable x is denoted by modulus of x. There are two ways to define absolute value and these are geometric definition and mathematical definition Now we are going to discuss geometric definition absolute value of a variable x which is denoted by modulus of x is the distance of x from 0 on a number line it is never negative as it measures distance not direction. This means absolute value of 4 is equal to 4 because 4 is 4 units to the right of 0 and absolute value of minus 4 is also equal to 4 because minus 4 is 4 units to the left of 0. We are now going to discuss mathematical definition. Absolute value of variable x is defined as now absolute value of variable x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and absolute value of variable x is equal to minus x if x is less than 0. For example, absolute value of 4 is equal to 4 because 4 is greater than 0 and absolute value of minus 4 is equal to minus of minus 4 which is equal to 4 because minus 4 is less than 0. Now we shall learn to evaluate expressions involving absolute value and variables for given value of the variables. Now steps for solving this type of equation involving absolute value and variables are as follows. Now the first step is to isolate the absolute value expression. Next, we set the quantity inside the absolute value notation equal to plus and minus the quantity on the other side of the equation. Then, we solve for the unknown variable in both equations and finally we check our answer. Now let us consider an example that is solve for x and the equation is absolute value of 3x minus 1 is equal to 4. Now we know that the first step involved in solving equation involving absolute value and variables is to isolate the absolute value expression and here we can see that the absolute value expression is already isolated. Then the next step is to set the quantity inside the absolute value notation equal to plus and minus the quantity on the other side of the equation. Now we have either 
थ्री एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर और थ्री एक्स माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर विच इम्प्लाइज दैट थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर प्लस वन और थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर प्लस वन विच फर्दर इम्प्लाइज दैट थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव और थ्री एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री विच इम्प्लाइज दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय थ्री और एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस थ्री बाय थ्री दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो वी हैव गॉट एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाय थ्री एंड x is equal to minus 1 now these answers may not be the solutions to the equation so let us check our answer by substituting x is equal to 5 by 3 and x is equal to minus 1 in the given equation first of all we will put x is equal to 5 by 3 in the given equation and we get Absolute value of three into five by three minus one is equal to four, which implies that absolute value of five minus one is equal to four, which further implies that absolute value of four is equal to four, and we know that absolute value of four is equal to four. Which is equal to four, and this is true. So x is equal to five by three is the solution of the given equation. Now we put x is equal to minus one in the given equation, and we get absolute value of. Three into minus one minus one is equal to four, which implies that absolute value of minus three minus one, that is absolute value of minus four, is equal to four. And we know that absolute value of minus four is equal to four, and that is equal to four. So this is true. So x is equal to minus one is also the solution of the given equation. Thus, we can say that x is equal to five by three and x is equal to minus one are the solutions of the given equation. Now we are going to discuss how to apply geometric formulas in solving word problems. In order to solve geometric word problems you will need to have memorized some geometric formulas for at least the basic shapes that is rectangles circles squares right triangles etc Now the word problems can be solved by using these steps The first step is read the word problem carefully and write down what is to be found and what is given to us next we form an equation using a variable for the unknown quantity that is to be found and then we solve the equation to get the solution of the word problem let us consider an example the length of the rectangular field is two times its breadth if the area of the field is 50 meter square find its length and breadth now before solving this word problem we must know that area of rectangle is equal to length into breadth 
Now here we are given that length of the rectangular field is 2 times its breadth. So now let breadth of the rectangle be equal to x. So its length will be equal to 2 times breadth. Now here times is the keyword for multiplication. So length will be equal to 2 into x that is equal to 2x. Now given area of rectangle is 50 meter square which implies that length into breadth will be equal to 50 meter square and here we know that length is 2 into x that is 2x into breadth that is x is equal to 50 meter square which further implies that 2x into x that is 2x square is equal to 50 meter square. This implies that x square is equal to 50 by 2 meter square that is equal to 25 meter square which implies that x is equal to square root of 25 meter square which implies that x is equal to now here taking positive square root we get 5 meters so breadth which is equal to x is equal to 5 meters and length which is equal to 2 into x that is 2x is equal to 2 into 5 that is equal to 10 meters. So we can say that length and breadth of the rectangular field are 10 meters and 5 meters respectively. Thus in this session we have discussed how to evaluate expressions involving absolute value and variables for given values of the variables and how to apply geometric formulas in solving word problems. This completes our session. Hope you enjoyed this session.